You're watching Reaction Check. Hello and welcome to Reaction Check. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today's uh, reaction is going to be Coke Studio Season 12. Mahi Diya Joka Barka Jamal Faki Troop. Now this is a folk music troupe. Um, Coke Studio has been doing that and especially with uh, Rohel Haya doing the first six seasons of Coke Studio. We got to see a lot of musicians that we would never hear about in the traditional um, medium that we have. Media, so we call media in Pakistan. They will not promote or they do not have a lot of things that have been happening. PTV um, uh, has produced some really great music in the past and uh, because of PTV we were enabled to um, you know, identify a lot of different folk and ghazal musicians and traditional uh, Pakistani, um, uh, you know, uh, musicians that that were that were there in the past, like all the way from 1960s um, when when the TV started, um, you know, producing content all the way to the early 2000s. And after that, privatization happened in Pakistan. Uh, um, um, you know, channels, and that's when um, everything went haywire, and a lot of programs come. And I think majority shows that we actually enjoy nowadays are are news channels, and they they talk about a few things. But Coke Studio is one such place, or YouTube is one such place where we get to see Coke Studio or some some artists that actually bring their their work. And Barka Jamal Fakir Troop is one such group that uh, that we are going to witness today. Um, Korohel Hayat has done some great um, music in the past, and uh, it, it this it, a lot of people are expecting things from Rohel Hayat for Coke Studio season season twelve, and uh, let's see if he delivers. So let's let's watch this one and see what we have in it, and then we'll talk a little bit about what it means because I really don't know what Mahi Dia Joka means. Probably you want to tell me in the comment section below. I see a lot of uh, percussion instruments that were not used before. Um, and I think that's the whole... I can read the subtitles, that's great. I think you have to experience this music.
bridge now in the song see what what else do we get now this is a very different kind of music I mean it doesn't stay uh, you don't have a lot of gap between the lyrics or the music that that is um, now it's just a fusion of different percussion instruments instruments playing with each other asking questions and it's being answered by another instrument I really like this I think this is something that we all appreciated from the first few seasons of Coke Studio. It did happen in the in season seven, eight, nine, but it sort of disappeared. I think it's gonna be a comeback for, for the musicians and then it's gonna say When the first song of Coke Studio Season 12 came out, Wahi Khuda Hai, it was actually a hummed and I talked a little bit about spirituality and in this song again you get to see that. I'm not sure how much spirituality Pakistani people can take at this moment because all this music that we are listening to uh, will invoke a, a certain kind of emotion, a certain kind of spirituality in a person. Now, the lyrics of the song is talking about Heer and Ranja, but I think you and I both, if you've studied Urdu when you were young in, in, in a Pakistani school, you do understand the concept of Ishke Hakiki and then Ishke Majazi. Now, by understanding Ishke Majazi, um, you know, the love for different things, the love for your um, loved one, like Heer loves Ranja and Ranja loves Heer, the, the love that they discover enables them to understand a greater creation, a greater the love for the creator and that's when the poetry takes um, a very different kind of turn um, and it talks not just about the love that we have for the things here but also the love that we can have for the creator or for the one who has created us all I did talk a little bit about how people in different parts of the world how people with different spirituality um, understands music or understands different poetry in a different manner now everyone has the right to to think that whatever they believe in um, is the right thing but uh, you know just imagine for a while the people living in um, living in African countries have someone or something that they they call them um, uh, you know the creator we living in this subcontinent also call um, uh, you know, a creator that has created everything and everyone deep inside 
um, has this understanding of uh, of the creator and then through this poetry through this uh, um, Sufi kalams we we get to understand that there's a lot more that is out there that we still don't know and that we still haven't connected with and a lot of people discover that after a lot of different um, struggle and after a lot of different I think this music allows us to um, to understand I I did not know this this uh, this Saraiki language I do not speak Saraiki language I speak um, uh, you know English and sometimes I speak Urdu as well but uh, there's a lot that uh, that is uh, Sufi music or Sufi poetry that is done in the language of Punjabi and also in Saraiki and we get to understand um, a lot through this um, this poetry and these musicians um, thank thank God they're keeping it alive and, and they're making sure that we are entertained or we are um, you know brought um, you know uh, in front of this 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 great music or this great poetry that was done and thank you so much for watching this with me until next video take very good care of yourself adios